All right, let's go check out this boss, dude. What's he got? Retrofitted heavy power armor. Oh, yeah, baby. I'll take that. Nice. Welcome back, everybody, to the Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming. And uh, we just uh, went back to our ship and slept. And um, so, let's see. We need to also eat. And uh, let's see. What do we want to eat here? Let's have this uh, Spacer's Choice frozen dinner thing with doodle And we'll eat the rest of those water pills. And that gets us pretty close to hydrated and fed. Maybe not fully. Let's have one more pep pills. Just need some like normal water. I guess we got the this apple juice. So we'll take one of those too. Okay, so we just should be fully fed, fully hydrated, and fully rested. So what we're gonna do is the next quest that we're gonna work on is this um the long tomorrow quest. But there was a couple of side things I wanted to check out what's that some kind of gorilla looking thing uh, there's a couple side things I wanted to check out too before we get back to that quest that was kind of back over by the town there he doesn't look very friendly does he We we should uh, <clears throat> we should test out our new weapons here. Primal something something. Primal Ravager. They must. I bet you they're guarding something over there. They must be guarding something. All right, Pavarotti. I don't want you. Uh, why do I keep calling her Pavarotti? Parvati. <laughs> Pavarotti. <laughs> I'm probably gonna call that a billion times. Parvati. I want you to be yet yeah, ranged, far, and defensive. I want you getting yourself in trouble. In fact, let's even have you stand back uh, over there. All right. This is probably going to get me killed, but... I'd like to see if I can get a headshot off on this guy. Trying to see if there's if he's got a weak spot. Doesn't really say if he does or not. So let's get around to here. I don't really want to get that close to him. Because there might be other other guys. Looks like there might be other guys laying down there, but I can't tell for sure. All right, well, let's try this. It's probably going to get me killed. Oh, shit, there's... There is more of them. Oh, it looks like they're very susceptible to the plasma weapon here. Nice. Okay. That went reasonably well. Primal Hide. Okay, what was it where you guys garden? We got a dead resident. An Adreno. A shovel. And a, another resident. That's it? There's nothing else here? Oh, man. We went to all that effort just for that? Well, I guess we probably got pretty good XP for killing those guys. Oh, we got a hatchet out of the deal. He had a hatchet in his head. What's, uh... Is that a weapon? That's probably a weapon, right? Yeah, it's a one-handed melee weapon. Okay, we'll just break that down for parts. You know what we could probably do? Here, let's call... Parvati back to us. Um, let's... Give her this other... Assault rifle and she's got a pretty nice melee weapon, too So I think I'm gonna take that from her because I don't want her melee in at all we'll, we'll give her this melee weapon and we'll take hers All 
That thing's pretty badass, actually. <laughs> Check that thing out. I like it. Okay. We we might let her do a little bit of combat later on once we get her upgraded in better armor and better weapons and stuff and health and all that. But right now, she's... We don't want to risk losing her. Okay, so let's go back to town. And we're going to go... Uh, we're going to do a, go do a couple of side things that I wanted to do first before we start this next quest. Okay, guys. Um, this is the spot that we're going to do a couple of side things. Um, there's a cannon thing of a doodle down there. But uh, before we do that, I want to I want to do another save uh, at this point. So what we have to do... Oh, I guess we're too close to the cannon, so we got to go back this way a little bit. So we have to fast travel back to the ship, and then we'll just reload at that point. And that'll put us right back here. And that's basically our our, our kind of uh, way of getting around the fact that you can't otherwise just save where you want to, which I completely disagree with in any game. Every game should let you save wherever the hell you want to, or at least have frequent checkpoints. But they've pretty much screwed that up in Supernova. Um, that's, that's probably my only complaint right now about this game everything else i'm really enjoying about it and there's a bunch of stuff we could explore over there too so many so much stuff to do okay anyway let's go back now and load our last save and that should put us in that spot so if things go south on us you know then we at least can start over uh from here okay so a couple of things i've noticed there is over here um there's a sleeping candid right there. So we're going to take him out. I think I want uh, Parvati to okay. kind of wait over there. And because there's some stuff down here that we can check out. So let's just get right up to this guy and say goodnight, Gracie. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh, some bird thingamadoodles. They must be hostile or they wouldn't be, like, getting alert on us. Okay. We might have to deal with them, too. Uh, let's take the tail off of him. A corporation service award. A medium-sized award typical of the kind given out at an annual company achievement banquets galaxy-wide. What was this award for? Most used, oh, most unused paid time off? Greatest amount of coffee drunk in one break? Fewest bathroom rests? You'll never know. Hmm. Okay, that's probably... Whoops. That's probably a, uh, a, a just a junk item. Spacer's Chaw, Tarmac and Cheese, Tartarus Sauce. Uh, what's this? Examine. Kane Van Acker, space, Spacer's Choice Ethologist, assigned to Terra 2. This week I've decided to study Terra Ray mating habits. The female terror rays leave their nest area in the morning and return in the afternoon with random objects, typically something shiny or bright. Then they build displays with these objects and perform what I can only describe as a dance for an audience of males. If a male likes what he sees, the two go off and nest together in one of the nearby trees. Gerald, if you're reading this, I'm done waiting for you. Collect my things and meet me at the next site. I don't And don't be late. I expect punctuality from my assistants. That's his assistant, so I don't think Gerald's going to be... <laughs> I don't think Gerald's going to be meeting up with him. Look at the teeth on that thing. My goodness. All right. Well, um, should we try and kill these birds? Let's uh, use, let's use our pistol. Because they're probably not too terribly nasty. La famous last words, right? Is there any more? Nope. Guess that's it. All right. What do these guys have on them? Terror ray beak. The pointy mouth part of a terror ray. Grounded to powder, boiled in water, then mixed with tobacco, tobacco horn scar, uh, starch. Terror ray beak becomes a food additive with a gelatinous consistency, often used as a biting agent for processed meat, such as nuggets, borst, etc. All right. Does this game have like actual cooking and stuff? 
like I don't think it does. Not that I've seen anyway. Hmm. Anything over here? Oh wow, check out that lava. That's really cool looking. That looks like real lava. Well, I'm not seeing anything else around here, so I guess we'll continue on. All right, now, um, over here, just all over this ridge, there are some marauders walking around. I noticed them uh, the other day when I was just kind of checking stuff out off camera, but I didn't want to kill them until uh, I had you guys to watch, so... It looks like we got three of them, and, a, and one of them is a ringleader, so he must be kind of like a boss sort of dude. So let's see if we could kill them, but I don't want you anywhere near this fight. So let's just stick you right on over here. All right, I'm on the move. And you behave yourself and don't do anything. So what we're going to do... What's that noise? I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and hit these guys from long range and then we're going to use these tank thing with doodles here for cover. Okay, so that's the general plan and hopefully it doesn't go south on us. Because they're probably guarding something, something down there. So I want to know what that something is. So I think we should probably hit the boss guy first. So let's get this weapon out. So we'll get some shots off on him in slow-mo. And then... I told you to go over here. What the hell? Stay put. Gotcha. And make sure you are... Uh, let's make you passive, too. Hopefully she stays there this time. Okay, so let's uh, let's try this again. I'd like to be a little bit closer to where our cover's going to be. It's the only problem with fighting from right here. Does that guy come up this way at all? I suppose we could hit him from here. Don't have a really good line of sight, though. She's staying up there, right? Can't quite get to the ringleader from... Oh, okay. Well, we'll start the fight up here, and then we'll, then we'll run up to the cover and let them come after us. All right, here we go. There goes nothing. run up here Parvati get out of here No problem I'll head over Nice one Okay he's down Okay the ringleader's coming close so let's get our shotty out The wrong damn button. All right, where's the other guy? Shotgun fires very slowly <laughs> in in what I'm I call that's mode. She's almost done. Let's go around this way and finish her off with a shoddy. Reload. Fortunately, they're not attacking Parvati. Everyone all right? Who? 
Whew, okay, that went reasonably well. Oh, nice, a hunting rifle. Okay, cool, we can use that as a, as a sniper gun. We'll take that. All right, let's go check out this boss dude. What's he got? Retrofitted heavy power armor. Oh, yeah, baby, I'll take that. Nice. Very nice. All right, come on, Parvati. On you need to follow directions a little bit better. What do you have? A trip blade. Okay. Now, what were these guys guarding down here? I'm curious. There's a thing here. Okay, heavy ammo. Trimmer cleaver. That's interesting. Man, it's hard to see in here. I wonder if there if there's some kind of a light in the game. Let's take a look. Settings, controls, edit key bindings. Turn, jump, crouch, use, reload, attack, aim, inhaler, TTD, companion attack, weapons. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe maybe there's like a mod or something you can find later on that has a light, like a helmet light. All right, well, I don't see anything else over here. So, but I mean, killing those guys just for the their equipment they had, the sniper rifle and the armor in particular was uh definitely worth doing plus we got xp you know for doing that too got another mag pick from that that's good that's all good all kinds of stuff up there to explore but you know what i think i want to do let's go back into town now and um we'll sell a couple of things i want to get that sniper rifle upgraded and we'll try on this armor looks like i've already been back through here and then let's get back to working on the quests. Yeah, that's where we have to go to do that cache of medicine quest. What's in here? Oh, there's a vending machine. Here they come! Wait, here who what? 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 Oh shit! Down they go. Little gremlin bastards. Here, let's not waste bullets on these little bastards. I didn't know those things were hostile. Here, what's this got to say? We gotta hack this. All right, let's see. Spacer's Choice property, Edgewater Salt Tuna Cannery, Terminal Access, Spacer's Choice Salt Tuna Marketing Division. Unlock second story balcony door, personal files, messages. Okay, so we got the door unlocked. Messages. To R. Thompson from L. Gibbs. Just want to check up on the new Saltuna Light project. I've been brainstorming some new taglines for the product line. I think some of them will be really catchy to our customers' attention. From Thompson. Dear Lawrence, I appreciate your hard work on behalf of the beloved brand of Saltuna. I've just received a response from corporate. They're not interested in your idea of a light version of salt tuna brand because we'd rather not compete with ourselves. <laughs> but they are interested in the idea of a lighter salt tuna. Effectively, effective immediately, we have been instructed to use heavier weighted cans so we can pack them with less salt tuna, thereby saving bits to every can. Yeah, but it's going to cost you more metal to do that. Whatever. Uh, this is exactly the, exactly the kind of breakthrough our cannery needs. In fact, our logistics department has just confirmed my request to have you transferred from the marketing division to the cannery. Can you imagine, Lawrence, you'll be rubbing elbows with your fellow workers on the canning line, filling each slightly heavier can with slightly less salt tuna hour after hour, day after day. This is a great and tremendous honor for you and for me. Effective Im immediately, your position in our marketing division has been terminated. I expect you to report to your foreman tomorrow morning. Your uniform will be deducted from your pay. Welcome. Wow. Okay. What an asshole. Uh, personal, uh, pers personal files. Okay, ideas for salt tuna light taglines. Melts on your fork, not in your mouth. Less fat with some salt tuna flavor. It's brine time. Now with satisfying crunch of cartilage. Ugh. You can't spell salt tuna without salt. Note, you, uh, you can't spell salt tuna with ants. Potentially to market toward families. Put What? Also can't spell salt tuna with ants. Potential to market towards families. 
I don't understand what that means. Leading scientists say it's still food. The salt, the salt tuna will thank you. Warning may cause auditory hallucinations. We'll add more later. Well, maybe he did deserve to, <laughs> to be sent to the the, the freaking production line. Oh, good. We need more water tablets. Okay, let's put this away. Um, what's this? Nickel pad. Ambidextrin. What's that? Uh, what's that do? Nasal stimulant. Uh, sniper. Critical damage plus 15%. Bonus to extra headshot. Weak spot plus 25%. Nice. Okay. That's good stuff. Oh, look at that. We got a... We unlocked the slot. I don't know how we unlocked the slot, but we did. We don't have anything to put it in it, though. Oh, all right. I have a feeling like we're going to get badly sidetracked in this game. I was not planning on coming in here, but there's obviously something going on in here. What else do we got? Pet pills, two-hour energy brew... Something for us to pick. Sentry saber, bit cartridge, and bracelet. Okay, we'll take all that. All right, we'll hit that vending machine on the way out, but let's go upstairs because obviously there's something up here that uh, demands our attention. Uh, this hammer is badass. Parvati doesn't mind that I loaned it from her. Borrowed it from her. Two hacking shunts, that's good. She told me so. Off camera. No, really, she did. Okay, I'll grab that. Bit cartridge. Okay. We're probably going to have hostiles in here. Are we? Ah, look at that. A little obstacle course to get over there. What did we just get? A revolver? Oh, cool. All right. So we got two revolvers now. Energy cell. All right, looks like that's all that's over on this side. Did she jump over that? Oh, look at her go! Right on, Parvati. Impact hammer. That's what we have now, right? Yeah, except for ours is charged with. But electricity. Wait a minute, though. That one's got does more damage. Level four. Is it because this is just a level two? Oh, I bet you that's what it is. This is going to be good for fighting the robots, though. And we could upgrade it to a level four. Or we could put a shock mod on that. Do we have any mods with us? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, where are our mod items? Those are quest items. Oh, right here. Gyrosite. Ranged weapon spread. This modification uses an internal gyroscope to dampen movement, allowing more accurate shots. Mm, that's that's actually going to be handy. We should put that on something. All right. Oh, is that all we can do? We can't go inside here? Uh, I guess not. Huh. Okay. Really? That hurt? It wasn't that far down. Okay, let's go on in. Um, oh, actually, I guess we were going to use the vending machine, weren't we? Let's do that first. I want to sell all of the junk, first of all. Um, can we break junk down? I don't know. I I want to I want to sell it though so we can get the bank. Okay. All right, let's go back into town here, and we're gonna go over to Parvati's uh, workbench and do a couple of upgrades, and then we're gonna get back to, on our quest. Let's put. The bad thing about that hammer is it, like, really blocks your vision a lot. So we'll put that away. Uh, I've been feeling pretty low these days. Oh, here, here it is right here. This is where the magic happens. Well, science. But it still happens here. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so let's see here. What do we want to do? We got a level one sentry saber, a trimmer cleaver. I'm not really interested in, in two-handed weapons. So let's break down a couple of things. Uh, we're going to break that down. We're going to break the sentry saber down, the trip blade. <sighs> Probably the revolver, too. I mean, re revolver does a little more single shot damage, but this has far better DPS. Well, maybe not far better, but better DPS. So, yeah, let's break down the revolver. We'll break down the hatchet. And I uh, guess we'll break down that pistol too. Okay, so do we want to repair anything? This is down to 81%. So I think we should probably repair that. Uh, this is still, this is at 92%. It's in pretty good shape. That's 95 and that's 97. So I don't think we need to repair anything else. Uh, but what I do want to do is I want to do some tinkering. So let's get this uh, hunting rifle upgraded. So uh, we can upgrade it by by six damage points for 50 bits the first time through. Now it's going to cost us 102 to upgrade it another six. Um, That gets it to 78. How much? Oh, yeah, we got bank. Yeah, let's do it at least one more time. Once I get it to 84. Whew, it's going to cost us 325. Let's do it one more time because this is going to be our sniper rifle. All right, so we just upgraded that to level six. Now it does 90 damage. I also want to... Um, modify this with uh, install mod magazine sites range weapon spread 20% um yeah I think that's what we want to do let's put it on there okay so we're getting ourselves a nice little sniper rifle. Now, uh, the other thing is, do we want to... This is a level 3 assault rifle. That's only a level 1. So do we want to try and upgrade this one more time? It'll cost us 179 bits. That gets us uh, up to a level 4. And that gets us down to 304 uh, there. So this guy, this is our hammer. It's a level 2. Do we want to upgrade that by one point? That only costs us 50 bits. So yeah, let's upgrade that by one point. This is a level 5. That's a level 3. That'll cost us 179 to upgrade. Uh, I think we'll stop there. I think we'll stop there. Okay, so let's do this. Let's put this in the fourth slot. We're going to just keep the pistol in reserve. We'll put the shoddy in two and the assault rifle in three. Now, this impact hammer, this is a level four impact hammer. This one's only a level three, and it still doesn't do the same amount of damage. But it's got the shock damage, which we kind of want for the fight with our automatons. Do I have enough money to upgrade this one more time? Tinker it one more time? I do. It's going to take almost all of our money, but you know what the hell? Let's just do it. It's only money, right? All right. So now that's a level four, and it does 142 damage plus shock. Um, We might give this one back to Parvati, I guess. What does she have right now? Yeah, that does 113. Let's give this one back to her, even though I'm not planning on having her do melee. And then this one, I think we can probably just break down for the parts. Because it doesn't have much cell value to it. Okay, very good. Oh, we need to do armor, too. We completely need to do armor. So... Let's see, can we... Here, let's go here. Character, inventory, armor. So this, this reduces our stealth, but it gives us heavy weapon... Uh, gives us heavy weapon plus five, but does that mean heavy melee weapons, or does it mean, like heavy, you know, uh, weapons that use heavy armor. Hmm, not sure. I think what we're going to do, though, is 
I kind of want to keep the stealth skills. I don't think we really need this. I mean, it would give us plus five tech skills. Uh, you know what the hell? Let's hang on to it for now just because it's, you know, we're not like at a point where we're out of space. Plus, we can have Parvati hold stuff too. But uh, we're going to look at that armor. That is so cool. Look at it. I love it. We're going to wear this unless we need to be in a stealthy situation. Then we might switch armor at that point. So do we want to try... See, so I only have 152. But uh, we can tinker this at least once. Ah, oh, shoot. There goes a the time. We'll tinker that. Uh, that's uh, Parvati's armor, so... This is only a level one mining helmet. That gear is level three. Should we tinker this once too and get it upgraded a little bit more? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I think that's it, guys. I think we've done uh, all the upgrading and selling and all that that we want to do. How are we doing on ammo? Uh, we're kind of low on ammo, so I wonder if we should spend the rest of our coin and just up our heavy ammo just a little bit more. What does this use? Yeah, see, that uses heavy ammo. But it's also a single-shot weapon, so it's not going to use as much ammo as the automatic weapon. So let's just go over to this vending machine here. And we want to go here. <clears throat> Vulcan heavy ammo. Buy. So we can only buy 50 coins worth. Really, that's all we got is eight out of that deal? <laughs> okay, that's not so great, but whatever. Okay. Well, guys, we're out of time. Um, I, would, I had wanted to get started on that quest, but uh, we'll have to just do that next time. We did have some fun, though, and we, we got some nice little upgrades and a little bit of combat, so we had some excitement, so it's all good. Um, so I will see you guys in the next episode, and we will take uh, get started on this uh, quest here for... Uh, for Abernathy, trying to find this anthro -cillin. So, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, share out the video and, and leave a comment. Those things do help the channel. I do appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.